Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the online color picker tool, which is called colors.io. So if I open up my web browser and I go to this website, it's called colors.co. So C -O -O -L -O -R -S dot co. I'm going to put a link to this in the YouTube description. You can download it for your iOS apps from the App Store as well. But we're going to go to start the generator. It's free. Here, click on this button. So when we click on that button, the website will load up a palette of colors, suitable colors that you can mix together. So if you're doing a logo design or doing some graphic design work, or you simply want to send maybe your designer some color schemes that you like for a project, then you can use this tool to mix colors together and it will pick suitable colors that kind of work well together. So if you click generate up here, it will pick a different color scheme. And you can keep cl clicking generate until you find a suitable color scheme that you like. So I use this often when I'm doing logo design work for a client. I might send them different color palettes and say, like, out of these color palettes, which ones do you like? So let's just say something like this is quite bright and colorful for a project. There's a few different things you can do inside this software. So the first thing here is adjust uh, the alternative shades. So when you click here, it will give you different shades within that particular color. So you can pick a different color shade. So let's say if it was a bit too dark here, you can go up one step and then you can pick a different shade. You can drag them to the side so you can reorder them in the positioning. So you can compare the colors that way. You can click on the adjust tool here and then you can adjust it on a specific RGB element. Down here you get the hash values as well. So if you're doing a lot of web work, you'll understand hash values or using graphic design software, you can just copy these and use them straight in your software like Photoshop or something like this. You can also lock lock the particular layer, so once you lock it, you can't drag it or move it, and that one will be locked. You can say, that's the particular color I want to stick with. So if I unlock it for the moment, let's just unlock it. Um, the other thing that I found quite interesting here is you can click on settings. You can isolate mode as well, so I'll click isolate, and when you close it, you've got these gaps in between, so you can see the colors a little bit different. So you can see it this way as well. I tend to leave them block together like this because I can see the colors I prefer it this way. Um, another interesting tool is picking colors from an image. So for example if I go to my website and we can download an image here so let's click here and we'll pick something like um, let's say this cell scope. So I'll take this image and I'll drag and drop it to my desktop and then I'll go back to this website. Let's just go back here. You need to be able to see the image on your desktop and the website. We can click on the pick color from image. We'll click here and we just drag and drop this picture in here. And now you can start picking colors from the actual image. So it will pick some colors, but you can start moving the cursor around. And let's say you want to take colors from maybe this sort of red or something from the table. Then you can isolate that color. You can click here and you could pick maybe like some of the blue colors from the artwork. You can start experimenting with the colors. You can take the silver from the laptop. This is a really interesting way to pick colors um, from a particular image. So you can download any image and then upload it here and pick out colors that you like. So you've got another set of color schemes. You can click collage here. And when you do that, it will open up another page. We'll just wait for this to load. And then it will download this file. So if we uh, click here, you can see you've got the image and then you've got the colors right next to it. Now you, you've got that as a file. You can simply um, send that to your graphic designer. So you've got the original image that you've taken and then you've got the colors that you picked from it as well. So that's quite interesting as well. You can click auto and it will pick out colors randomly for you, right? So it will pick out a set of colors like this, which I find quite interesting as well. So I use this sometimes when I'm thinking, sometimes it's hard to think of colors that work well together on a project. So you can use these sort of tools. Your client might send you some sort of image or you might find a particular image and you want to randomly pick colors from it. Here you go, here you've got a color scheme, we click OK. Now we've got colors that may work well together inside of a project. So once you've got your color schemes, we'll click generate here, we'll find some other colors. Let's have a look. Let's say this color scheme here. We can then, um, you know, you can play around with these tools. I'll leave you to experiment with them. Uh, but you can click export here. And sometimes I'll click export and then click PDF. 
when you export it as a PDF file, you'll get all of the hex values, all of the colors, everything in here in all the different formats, the CK, CMYK, the RGBs, the hex values, uh, and you've got the colors here. So you can just send that as a PDF file. You can just download it here. We could save it to my desktop. Let's just save it here. And inside this folder, we could just drag and drop that PDF file. So we can close down the website. I'll put a link to that website in the YouTube description. We've got the color palette here as well. Let's just replace that, put it here. And maybe we'll take the original image that we use as reference, for example. And now we've got a PDF file that we can just send to our designers. And here's the color schemes that we want to use for this logo design. And they can pick maybe three colors and then maybe use all of them on the web development project. So that's how I go about using that particular website. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.